So we're spectating this match right now between Vulcan and Kings. Vulcan's running this crazy deck right now. So this is uh, Vulcan's deck here. <clears throat> I'm really impressed because this guy was like at third place in this tournament and he's running P.E.K.K.A. Like all other cards in his deck are legit, but like I'm really impressed that this deck is working. Sacrifices the minions. Miner's getting some good chip in though. Kings, this guy Kings is at the number one spot running a Zap Bait deck. And we can see how powerful Goblin Barrel is now. If you don't have Log. Vulcan does have Arrows though. Running Arrows in this deck as well. Also often considered unusual. Graveyard. Oh wow. <laughs> that pre-fire man. I gotta give it to him. Chooses to fireball with the Princess. I guess just doesn't want to deal with it. Which I can understand. But that means that... The Goblin Barrel is free. I think Kings might take this one, or might go into overtime. I don't know, Kings looks like he's got a strong position right now. Yep. Fireball. Yep. Yep. Oh, we're going into overtime, boys. Wow. Goblin Barrel gets cleaned up quite a bit quicker in uh, double elixir time. Does he choose to arrow? No, he's got the furnace. <clears throat> this deck is actually working really well against that bait. Looks like he's sort of opting not to use the P.E.K.K.A. Oh, right when I was going to say that, he drops the P.E.K.K.A. Let's see, let's see how this P.E.K.K.A. works, man. I don't know, I'm not convinced, like, P.E.K.K.A. is such a hard card to play. Just using it to tank for the graveyard, I guess. Is he going to arrow? Pre-arrows. Doesn't even zap the goblin barrel. The inferno gets taken out by the P.E.K.K.A. What the fuck? Did you guys just see that? Oh my god. How did that happen? Like, I gotta rewatch that. Oh no, these, uh, this minion horde. Oh wow, okay. Very good defensive arrows, like he had to do that or he was going to take a lot of damage. Doesn't get the two fire spirits in the fireball. It's like Vulcan might have overextended, we'll see. Oh, get some chips in with the musketeer. Oh my god, I definitely didn't overextend. Holy crap, can you guys believe this guy's deck? Alright, we got to keep spectating this guy because holy shit. Vulcan is number one with this deck right now. Zigzag number two. Reddit Alpha Reddit Bravo. King's going in again. Who's what's starting Dave running? Electro Wiz. Vulcan going in. Alright man, I just gotta watch this like holy shit. And it looks like he's going to be going up against Lavaloon. So we'll see how Pekka Graveyard goes up against Lavaloon. Good zap. Man, this guy's cards. I was really enjoying this guy's pre-fired arrows. Man, like, oh, lightning. Lava lightning. People don't expect it anymore, but he's got the minions. 
And uh, Minion's great card right now. Very high on my list. And he's got the Musketeer. I think this is a well-rounded deck. It's like Pekka is the one thing that I'm like, does Pekka really work? But uh, he's making it work. Chooses not to play it into a to Tombstone, though. And he knows that uh, Choco -E Milk also has a uh, Tombstone. Vulcan's got the spells though, still hasn't used his arrows on this Lava Hound. Maybe uh, choosing not to let Chalky Milk know that he's got the arrows, he'll probably use them here though, yeah. Lightning doing decent work though, like just chipping on the tower, but uh, Vulcan's a hit on damage, so. Man, those minions, uh... okay, they do take it out. But uh, not much of a counterattack. Oh, he drops the Pekka, boys! Right when Double Elixir hits. Oh my god, dude, this Pekka. Pekka's like, how dare you come into my base? What's he got for anti-air? So you have his minions up. Oh, nice, nice. Uses the fireball. Zap. Pop. I don't know if he's going to get in, though. But looks like Chalky Milk is low on elixir. And he does get in. Oh, my God, dude. This deck. Holy crap. New meta. New meta right here. All right, Dirt and Dave. Let's, let's screenshot Dirt and Dave's deck. And he's going in, boys. All right, Vulcan starts with a Musketeer. A little late on those arrows. That's unlike Vulc Vulcan. But he knows he's, his opponent's got minions now. Taking out that mega minion quite well. And what's he got? His, his musketeer and uh, minions are gone. So he doesn't have any anti-air right now. He really needs his arrows or something. I don't, oh man. That's, uh, that's really bad. But I'm, I'm still, I'm still cheering for my boy Vulcan, man. You can come back from this. His deck uh, did quite well against the last level hound we saw too, so. That's the way Clash Royale goes, man. You can uh, sometimes, you can lose it quick. Oh shit. That's that's the sometimes that's the downside of sometimes pre-firing arrows. Spider switched up his defense the second time, and now he doesn't have any arrows to defend this. And uh, this is not looking well. Okay, he uses fireball. Might be able to get himself out of this. 
But uh, it's looking kind of bad. Has to take some damage from the Mega Minion, and they're going to get in and get some... They're going to take the tower. Musketeer cleans up with the towers. And does he... he does he even have enough time for that Pekka push to make it all the way over to the tower, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like Pekka actually would have done well if he had played it earlier. There isn't much on the ground to stop this Pekka. Looking at uh, Spider's deck. Oh my god, is he gonna take it? He's got uh, the Valkyrie. And the Pekka is just walking up to the tower! Like, I don't, how does, well, I mean, okay, I know, especially with Spider's deck, there's no way to stop it, but Vulcan just has so many spells to assist his P.E.K.K.A. And to actually get them to the tower. I, like, I can't believe that P.E.K.K.A.'s viable. I don't, I just never see it anymore. Really impressed. Vulcan's proven me wrong. But can he come back and win this match? Oh, he's... Miner's tanking for the Mega Minion. Gets quite a bit of chip damage, and it's definitely, uh... And Spider senses sort of like he can just keep pushing. And that's what he does. And can't really blame him. But doesn't really get much damage in... Oh, other than the Fireball. But... Vulcan holds off, man. Drop Pekka. No, maybe not. <laughs> man, and that miner is just going to finish off the tower if he doesn't address it. Just dropping a naked graveyard and minions on the tower. Fireball zaps out. Oh, but this. Yeah, that's it. Ah, it's too bad. Pekka didn't, couldn't win forever. Alright, we're going to take screenshots of all the, the decks. 